New Weapons Russia is rapidly developing the latest S-70 Okhotnik heavy lift drone, which can be used both as a strike and reconnaissance drone. Flight tests of the S-70 Okhotnik drone in the fighter interceptor variant have also begun. The drone performed several successful sorties, at that the drone was armed with air-to-air -air missiles with infrared head and radar homing system. It is also being actively tested as an interceptor drone in tandem with the Su-57 at the Ashulik training range. According to American experts, since the Hunter is in the early stages of testing, its arsenal must include missiles that are either already in service or are at a late stage of development. The main short-range air-to-air combat weapon in Russia at the moment is the R-73 and R-74M missiles. In addition, work is underway on the K-74M2 missile designed for the interior compartments of the Su-57 fighter. The same missile could also be a candidate to be found in the interior compartments of the Hunter. The medium-range missiles, the R-77 and improved R-77-1, as well as the K-77M have already been optimized for the Su-57's interior compartments. A publicly available report from the tests, suggests that the drone's avionics are interconnected with the missile guidance systems as well as the Su-57's lead aircraft. This means that the Hunter is planned to be used as a complement to the Su-57 fighter in the role of a wingman. Earlier, the Russian Defense Ministry said that the Okhotnik will expand the radar range of the Su-57 and provide target detection for airborne weapons. Namely with air-to-air -air missiles C-70 and FLU. The drone can also attack aerial targets with its own weapons, although the extent of its autonomy is unclear. While it was originally stated that the Hunter would be used to strike ground and surface targets, its capabilities have now been expanded. It becomes the world's first unmanned fighter interceptor. So far, all information about the aerial situation will be received by the Su-57 pilot, who will decide which target, with which missiles to attack, and then pass the command to the drone. Hunter will be able to destroy enemy fighters at long ranges, from which the Su-57 is still impossible to hit with an air-to-air -air missile. That is, the Su-57 fighter will have a kind of long strike arm. However, the Hunter's ability to carry missiles, of a variety for sure, gives it a role as a simple weapon carrier in the future, increasing the fighter's available arsenal. It is not known if the air-to-air -air missiles will be attached to the outer mounting points of the Hunter or inside the missile compartments, as there are no pictures or videos of the missile tests. The new weapons channel reminds us that on the latest batch of Russian Su-57 fighters, external attachment assemblies for weapons have been spotted on the wings. External placement will reduce the low visibility characteristics of the drone, and the EPR of neither the drone nor the fighter is unknown to us. But most likely the Hunter has a smaller EPR and the internal placement of the offensive weapons will allow it to perform the striking role, a heavy multi-purpose striking drone for which the Hunter was designed. But even if the weapons are externally mounted, it will serve as an additional arsenal of missiles available to the Su-57. The fighter remaining in the shadow of the drone and carrying its own weapons in the internal compartments, in such a situation, the drone can also defend against anti-aircraft missiles fired from the ground. Either by striking its own missiles, or at the cost of its own life, by exposing itself to enemy missiles. Also, a group of hunters can fly in tandem not only with a single fighter, but as part of a whole squadron of manned aircraft. The drone is created using technologies of the Su-57 fighter and is to a certain extent unified with it in terms of avionics. Both aircraft were developed at the Suhoi Design Bureau, with the creation of the Hunter using a number of Su-57 technologies. At least one of the fighters is constantly working on a program of joint tests, presumably with a camouflage and emblem made in the style of UAV-type flying wing. In combat, the C-70 will complement and enhance the capabilities of the fighter by finding targets for it. By the way this capability was tested and tested during the first joint flight. The interaction between the Okhotnik UAV and the lead aircraft on expanding the fighter's radar field and indicating targets for long-range missiles without the Su-57 entering the air defense countermeasure zone was practiced. Despite the fact that the Su-57 was the leader, flying behind the hunter, 
The C-70 was in constant data exchange with the Su-57 fighter outside the area of duty of the hunter. During the flight, the fighter used the hunter to expand its radar field and obtain target designation data. The tour for the Okhotnik was approved by the Russian Ministry of Defense in 2012. However, the characteristics of the vehicle are disclosed very sparingly. From the official information it is known only that it weighs about 20 tons, and the combat load will be from 2.5 to 8 tons, so it is clear that the air-to-air -air missiles will not be enough. The range of the S-70 will be about 6,000 kilometers. The maximum flight altitude is 18 kilometers. In this case has a subsonic speed. For example, for comparison, a fighter Su-35 has a payload of 8 tons, and the empty weighs 19 tons against 20 tons in the Hunter. It is known that the Hunter also has reconnaissance equipment for radio and visual reconnaissance. And in this part it can be compared to the American heavy reconnaissance drone RQ-170 Sentinel, which often visits the Russian Crimean coast. However, it is impossible to make a full comparison at least of the characteristics. They are also classified in the RQ-170. Well, the striking capabilities of the Russian drone are significantly higher than those of the American drone. The Hunter will in any case carry ammunition almost like a light fighter. The other American MQ-9 UAV is usually used for individual hunting and carries a payload of 1700 kg. The range of the turboprop American is also smaller 1900 km versus 6000 km. But the significant advantage of the Reaper over the Hunter is that it has been in operation for 13 years. And the Russian drone will be put into mass production tentatively in 2024. This platform should become universal. See everything about the Russian fighter Su-57 at the end of the video at the link. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel New Weapons. Goodbye everyone.